everyone, it's Megan from Fashionably Thrifty and today I'm going to be showing you what builds my style. I've been trying to plan a wardrobe essentials video for a while and I'm still definitely going to do that at some point but I decided to do this one first because it's not a video I've ever seen anyone else do before. Um, I was kind of thinking how people say, you know, I have a preppy style or I have a grunge style and I used to be someone who kind of had a definition of my style like that, but I don't really have that anymore. I But I do know the different things that I gravitate towards and the different styles, but more kind of the way I put outfits together. I broke down my style into three parts and I'm going to show you them. I have my laptop here and so I'm going to be looking at my lookbooks that I've made um, to kind of give some examples, though I don't have tons of lookbooks out, so um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing that builds my style is probably, like, the biggest thing out of everything. Okay, so the biggest thing probably is color coordination. I cannot wear an outfit if it doesn't have basically everything color coordinated. There's so many ways you can do this. I feel like a lot of people think that if you remain color coordinated all the time, then it gets kind of boring or you can only have so many outfits, but I personally have never found that because there's so many ways you can do it. You can match a top to your shoes like I have right now because I have my Converse on. Um, so I have the black and white and the black and white. Match your top to your shoes. You can match your jacket to your pants. You can match your jacket to your shoes. You can do an all one color outfit. You can have a tons of different colors in one outfit if you just make sure you have like kind of the same colors. I do not feel comfortable if an outfit does not have color coordination. I never get bored with it. I feel like there's five billion combinations you could have with color coordination. You can experiment with different silhouettes to make it different. You can have different colors, different shades, and like I said, um, having like the different combinations of color coordination and there's so many more than just those combinations. Literally every single outfit I ever wear has color coordination. Um, so it's kind of a big thing to start on, but it is the biggest component of my style. Second biggest component of my style is sophisticated elements. This doesn't mean I always have a completely sophisticated style, but I have to have at least one sophisticated element, but a lot of times I have like at least three <laughs> in one outfit. Um, I think the biggest kind of example of that is if I go to my favorite style in like each category, like tops, my favorite style is a turtleneck, and that's more known as sophisticated. Pants, my favorite style of pants is any type of trousers. If someone said you can only wear one style pant for the rest of my life, it would not be jeans, like most people would say, I would say trousers, 100%. For shoes, um, it's boots. Boots are my favorite type of shoe. My favorite style of jacket is a blazer. I love button-ups. I love cable knit. I love cardigans. All these different elements are really sophisticated, and a lot of them would be traditionally like in kind of a workwear setting or something like that, but for me it's my favorite things to wear and it's what I wear the most. Even when I'm having a lazy day, a lot of times when I'll have a lazy day I'll be wearing a blazer and trousers because that's what makes me feel great and I feel comfortable in them. Some of the outfits people would maybe even consider them to be like more of a special occasion outfit, but I wear them casually. <laughs> And the third one, which is last but certainly not least, is fall and winter fashion. I'm gonna be so sad when it's spring. All the fashion bloggers since January have been like, come on spring, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I love fall and winter fashion the most. Again, if you go through my essentials again, it is a turtleneck, boots, trousers and like pants and like almost never wear shorts and I've gotten into skirts now but still it's like it's pants is still my biggest thing with that it's you know different types of sweaters jackets are my favorite category of clothing I have so many jackets I have way too many um but I love them they're my favorite item of clothing I love fall and winter fashion I am not a huge fan of spring and summer fashion I am 
like I dread it coming and then it comes and I enjoy it for a while but once it gets to summer I'm sick of it so yeah you'll see even when I like have some of my like spring and summer lookbooks which I don't really have that many definitely this year I'm gonna try to do some more and kind of get myself even more inspired for spring and summer you'll see in the very first outfit of the styling graphic tees for spring and summer I have a long line lightweight shirt over my t-shirt and shorts because I just I even though it still is some kind of hot with that sometimes I want some excuse me I want that other layer so yeah I think that's it I need to get editing to this video because I'm kind of late on filming it but um, I've never seen anyone do this type of video so I thought it'd be kind of neat to not just say okay I have you know a sophisticated style or whatever to show you okay I have sophisticated elements and I have color coordination and I have fall and winter fashion um, I will do a wardrobe essentials video at some point, but I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it. I have like so many ideas for it and I just need to see which one I'm actually going to do. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see you guys next Sunday with a new video. Bye!